This segment brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, offering state-of-the-art cancer treatment in Pahrump. A little hope goes a long way. Facebook has named a new board member. Angela Miles reports. Tapping our news, a bureau dedicated to protecting consumers will be taking in no money. Mick Volvaney, the acting director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, tells Fed Chair Janet Yellen he is requesting zero dollars for the agency's second quarter budget. Mulvaney claims there is more than enough money to cover expenses. Facebook is naming American Express CEO Kenneth Chenoll to its board of directors. He becomes the first non-Caucasian board member. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg says he's been trying to recruit Ken for years. Facebook shares are up 41% for the past year. The social network has been plagued, though, with propaganda problems. And call it the Bitcoin blues. MarketWatch.com reports the wild roller coaster ride of ups and downs with the digital currency could take a toll on the health of some investors and traders. Researchers say for some people, the emotions of trading the cryptocurrency is similar to those of trading in a stock market meltdown. Thanks, Angela. Women's March organizers have moved from Washington, D.C. to Las Vegas this year. They chose Nevada, they say, this year because we were among the swing states to go Hillary Clinton's direction in 2016. They say that Nevada is poised to play an important role as a battleground state in 2018 as Republican Senator Dean Heller fights to keep his seat and Republican Governor Brian Sandoval, who is term limited, prepares to exit. The Las Vegas event, which will take place at Sam Boyd Stadium this Sunday, January 21st, will serve as a national voter registration and mobilization tour, which the Women's March has dubbed Power to the Polls. There's a scam happening right now involving Medicare cards. Avon Lindsay stopped by our studio with tips on how to avoid being a victim. The new Medicare cards are going to be coming out starting in March of 2018, and they will go for at least a year, probably. Um, one of the new scams is that the, you'll, they're going door to door, phone, internet, mail and saying that if you give them information, your information, they can help you get the new Medicare card sooner. How does a person typically get their Medicare card? They will be receiving the new Medicare cards um, through CMS. Postmark is gonna be from uh, Department of Human Services. So if you already signed up for Medicare, you're just automatically going to get your cards? Correct. So anybody who's contacting you with this uh, uh, fraudulent activity or scams, um, uh, do not give personal information. You should never give personal information. Correct, yeah. They n never want to ever give their information over the phone, internet, unless they are contacting the person directly themselves and no know who they are and what they're actually doing. You mean unless the um, actual seniors are contacting somebody, are, are, are calling out or reaching out to them. When people are contacting you typically, that's usually um, a sign that there was a scam. Usually these organizations don't contact you, you contact them. Correct, yeah, and if there is one, uh, try to get a number, mm -hmm. a name if you can, uh, and report it. Reported tonight, Kenny Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. What are they doing with this personal information? I'm just stealing people's identity, um, money. I mean, they're just, whatever information they can get helps them with other scams. Mm -hmm. um, just, it's best just not to give anybody information unless you actually know who you're talking to. Exactly. And if people are calling you on the phone, what you need to do is just hang up and then you can call back that organization yourself and, uh, and get the number and call them back yourself to see if they in fact did call. Yes, that's the best way to handle it. Can I give you a number for uh, SMP? Uh, the 800 number is 888-838. 7305 and, and the main office in Las Vegas is 702-486-3403. Right after this break, we're going to tell you about the RAM fundraiser. 